The total numbers at the Holyoke Soldier Home as of today, we've had 21 veteran resident deaths, 15 were positive tests, two negative, one unknown, and three pending. We have uh, now completed the testing of all the veterans. 59 veterans have tested positive and 160 have tested negative. We have created, um, under the leadership of Val Liptic, we have created um, uh, basically separate zones within the, or separate units within the home. So we have created um, units for individuals who have tested positive, units for people who have tested negative so that we can ensure that people are appropriately isolated and treated. The Clinical Command Center is working with the Holyoke Medical Center to create additional capacity at the medical center if we need to transfer individuals who are acutely ill. We've also added an infection control nurse who started, I believe, yesterday, um, and we expect um, additional staff resources. We have the National Guard who are there, uh, both National Guard who are there as um, what I would call environmental and food staff, as well as the National Guard who are medical corps who are expanding and augmenting the staff. In terms of um, Chelsea, as we have reported before, um, there, have on, there have been two resident deaths. Uh, I want to question regarding the um, nursing homes a little bit more about the nursing homes. In terms of, uh, especially with the Norwood case that came up, there is a lot of guidance out there for nursing homes regarding uh, what they should be doing. But I'm curious if there's any thoughts about doing something more, given the fact that they have suddenly, and it was anticipated obviously, but they've suddenly become, you know, really very difficult spots. Um, so. As we know, individuals who are older adults with underlying medical conditions, of course, are uh, more prone and more vulnerable uh, to COVID-19. Uh, very early on, I think around March 16th, we restricted visitation to nursing homes across the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and have again taken additional measures around really restricting access. Put out guidance very early uh, that was uh, consistent with the CDC guidelines, which I think you're referencing, uh, to help nursing home operators prepare for the epidemic, for the pandemic, which we now have. We've put in place mobile testing um, for nursing homes specifically because we understood that nursing homes to take patients, residents from nursing homes to hospitals to be tested was not humane, compassionate, or good. And so we, this week, rolled out mobile testing, again, with our National Guard, and we're expanding that for residents and the like. Um, and we are obviously, we have uh, both nurses from the Department of Public Health and epidemiologists on site and in contact with nursing homes that have, that have clusters of patients in their homes.